Let me see if it works. Let's see how much it is first. $1,850. Yeah, I love oh, it. Hell, that one look good. You I did. I'm going to All right. I'm, I'm, I'm asking good. how much for the World's Fair beer. For a six pack. Yes. Three bucks a six pack. Three bucks a six pack and this. This World Fair is two? Yes, yeah. Uh, two bucks. Two bucks, okay. I'll take that. At a lumber yard here in town. How much you want for that? Low mileage, one owner. Uh, cheap, cheap, cheap. Come on. Fifteen bucks. Hello everyone, I'm John Ward and welcome to another episode of Outback Adventures. I have a new friend with me here, Angela Taylor. And uh, she's from the Knoxville area and I met her at the Pickers Paradise uh, Antique Vendors Market because she's got a booth there at the market and she is here at the longest yard sale in the world. Uh, it's 600 miles, I believe. At least 600, yeah. And she's been coming here for years, so we asked if we could tag along and watch her pick some stuff today. And we're going to be seeing what she can find, if she can find some bargains. Have you bought, do you buy stuff here every year usually? Every year. We've been coming here since about 2014, so it's, a, it's fun. We have a great time. We've met a lot of great people, a lot of good friends, and you just never know what you're going to find. On this 127 yard sale, you'll get people that are vendors, but you'll also get people that are like... Uh, grandpa pulling things out of the barn so you get great deals on that stuff and you can put them in your booth you can sell them you can keep them in your house and i love it it's like a high it's almost like a vacation every year so we <laughs> love it we love coming on this so jody and i came along and this is our second episode of outback adventures and uh we're going to walk around we're in, we're in clark range and this is what's this location the store's called uh cumberland Cumberland General Store, but we'll look at that in a minute. I think I've got that wrong, but there's a there's a general store and a restaurant here, and this is one of the main places people set up. And I love this old building behind us here. This is a, looks like it might have been moved here, but it's an old house of some sort, and they've got like a little village set up around through here. So let's go see what Angela can find today. Oh yeah, these are awesome. A lot of times these are remakes but these bread bowls are phenomenal they're big sellers i mean the windows we sell tons of windows i had a I had a store in knoxville and we blew the windows out people love to decorate with these old windows they're fantastic so well they got a price on these here i think they're 220 which is a really great deal and then a blue l5 two for 20 12 dollars each that's and, a great uh, deal so here's something i've got I've got one of these. Okay. So what's it selling? Old tobacco. Yeah. That's $15 on the bottom there. Half and half. I didn't realize what that was. This says half and half, but this one doesn't slide. Some One of them I oh, have yeah, that yeah, slides yeah, in okay. half. Mm -hmm. So I thought that's what that was. Yeah. It says half and half, but it doesn't slide down. So so what would these been used for? That's interesting. Is that that's for a, children's shoes? Uh, children's shoes, stretchers. And then you've got a lot of spools and things down through here. And then the tubs. Now these tubs are still factory. They wrap leather around, and that's a form they use to actually make the shoe. Okay. Then you know where that's from? Uh, I bought these from Texas. Texas. Okay. The last, I think he got them from Maine. Wow. Okay. Now, are you, are you local here? No. No. You didn't sound local. No. <laughs> So it looks like you've got a lot of textile items. Did you buy out like a textile company that made these shoes or something? Uh, All I've this. Got bobbins from 20 different states. So Just that's what you specialize in. Well, uh, I guess I do. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. This we, is not. I used to have about 50 different varieties but I'm down to just have well maybe 10 or 15 here what we were doing is getting barn wood 
and putting these pegs on the barn lid. Well, that's a bottle opener, but like putting pegs on the barn lid. Uh -huh. Like this would be great for a beach house or something. Oh, yeah. And hang those on like a long piece of barn wood recovered from a barn. People love it. I yeah, mean, we have it's Hobby Lobby, but on a higher level. Yes. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of the uh, Nashville flea market when they used to have oh, yeah. it. Did you ever go to it? I did not. I want to go so bad. We sat up at it for uh, every month really? for a year. Oh my gosh! Did you do well? Yeah, Good. we did. <laughs> and, but they they tore it down. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, they put a soccer stadium in. Oh no, that's sucky. Well, this right here, I have one of these actually in our booth. This uh, this stand because these, if they they're metal, but they are from mid-century. People love mid-century modern right now. So the, the shelves like these are really great. A lot of times they're rusted out, you know, because people will set stuff on them that's that melts into it or whatever, dissolves it. But yeah, and this glassware is great. There's a lot of vintage glassware here. More bread bowls in the back back there. And then this guy's got some newer stuff that he's included with it, but you just never know what you're gonna find. Oh, there's some old, that's an old slot machine. Yeah, isn't that yeah. cool? Do you love this? Right. Let me see if it works. Let's see how much it is first. $1,850. But it does have pennies in it. I don't know if it still works or not. I'm, I'm afraid to push too hard on it. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of old uh, the signage gumball and stuff. machines. Yeah, yes. some, I love the lance over there, the where they had crackers and all those little pretzel jars and things like that. These are a big deal too. If you ever see Christmas ornaments, Halloween ornaments, these are called blow molds. And these things are a hot ticket right now. So if you ever see this stuff, don't throw it out. If grandma's got it in her attic or her basement. What's those selling for right now? <laughs> Hang on, we'll see. I'm gonna guess, let me guess, let me guess. Guess, guess, guess. Uh, for the power of $75. It's 120. I missed it. <laughs> 120. Those so, are like brand new though. Those, but, those are very nice. Those yes. are in good shape. But they started making those back, gosh, mid-century, like I was saying, and now they're harder and harder to find. So, uh, but yeah, this is some great stuff. Yes. Some of this, they're starting to remake some of it, so you got to keep an eye open for things. Like this right here is a remake, and they're still asking $18. So you got to do some research because out here, the sale service isn't so awesome. So you got to know before you come. Shop it. <laughs> what's real and what's kind of a newer model of things but a lot of this is old stuff so this is great i love this i love these old coca-cola bottle openers even with the they've got the original box and everything nice stuff ronald mcdonald so this is great yeah some of this is newer you think these are reproductions the coke Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, it's hard maybe, to tell maybe, sometimes. Maybe. It's hard to tell on some of them. Those look like porcelain, they, though. They look good. So. But there are some that they make that are very, very close and very hard to tell. Even the same with uh, cast iron. Cast iron now is hard to tell the difference. These are cool. Look at these little clocks. And you never can go wrong with old neon signs. Those are great. And I love these. Most of these look like they're working. So on this sale, you'll get a lot of people that are actual vendors. Like this guy looks like a vendor that's been here probably year after year, or maybe even has a store. So uh, sometimes you have to uh, do a little negotiating on the price. <laughs> They're super cool. These are old, 145. And that's got the old edges on it there, you see? Cool stuff. And those old cookie jars. I love them. When we ever go in old houses, um, sometimes you'll see these doorknobs that are crystal. They sell at Hobby Lobby and stuff, but this one is actually 45 for the set. But that's still a really good deal. And it's all together. So if you wanted to put that in your home, I mean, it still works there. That's awesome. And there's another, like the blow mold type things there for Halloween. Cool stuff. $2,500 for the wards. Orange Crush. <laughs> you need that one, don't you? <laughs> wards. Orange, orange Crush. crush. Mm -hmm. no, or you can get the linden for 
research that one. Well, that must have been some, uh, a brand of yeah. drink they made somewhere. Right, somewhere else. Yeah. But uh, they have lots of goodies that are things that you would pull out of grandma or grandpa's attic. And that's why I always say be careful about throwing that stuff or calling a dumpster because some of this stuff is worth big money. Y'all see some cans in here. I like some of the automotive. <laughs> yeah, I like the automotive uh, tin cans. Yes. I know. 40 bucks. It's huge. Yeah. We can put it in the truck. Jeez. <laughs> we'll take it back for you. We can put it on the outside. So I got some stuff in my store. Like, well, I've got okay. mainly some of the mini oil cans right. and I like buy stuff oil like cans it. Like that? Um, I like smaller pieces like this. See, right. like that? Yeah. This gets a little big. Uh -huh. This gets a little big. Uh -huh. right. Are you <laughs> local here? Uh, Southwest Corner, Georgia. Hey, pretty local. Yes. Pretty local. Yeah. Awesome. So you come here every year? Yes. Awesome. And sit up here at this yes. same spot? Same spot. Cool. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this show or this doing this? Doing this every year. How long? How many years? Uh... Let's see, I retired and I did it part time, 35 years. Wow, oh my gosh, yeah. that's crazy. But, uh, I did it. That's good. Well, I, I guess it's worth coming back yeah. if you're doing it for 35 years. Well, I've been so here about 15. I've been here about 15 years. Okay. And, uh, well, we yeah. like to stop here. Yeah. This is one of our favorite stops on the way north. We right. head north to Kentucky. Right. So, this is one of our favorite places to stop here at this store. So. All I've right. probably seen you before, but thanks for letting us look around. All right, help yourself. Okay. Okay. Right here, this is me right here. See all this little stuff right here? This These little pieces. About, yeah, I've we'll got a bunch it. of them. Okay. Don't That's have that one. I got stuff like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that. Oh, he's got some cool stuff. <laughs> so I like tobacco stuff, stuff yeah. too. Okay. So, and look here, it's got spark plugs, oh, yeah, it's not been open. Oh, still in the package. Yeah. New old stock. The, these little pieces are wonderful. To, okay. Because you don't take a lot of room, you can put right. them on yourself. Right. Oh, this is great. <laughs> so. Where it should have, but now, see, he never did. He just put okay. it on it, so it'll be okay. So, we well, just had to wear two minutes. Yeah, but all the way around. Once he did it. Okay. All right. Yeah, he just worked it. These are great. I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some cool stuff. Yeah, look at these. He's got these old. Uh, Oh, really don't know. Oh, for, for yeah. yep. awesome. well, these are great. Sunshine. If you had that actual drink. Return for refill. Back in the day. Return for refill. Get your money. Get some change back. Buy some candy, right? <laughs> I love these old medicine bottles, too. Yep. I have a lot of uh, different ones, and this is Castoria on the side. You can see. A lot of grandmothers took care of uh, everybody with this one. This one sets up mess on this side, so I don't know if I can read it here. There used Pretty to be cool. a lot of smaller medicine companies mm -hmm. that mixed up mm -hmm. all different types of yeah. tonics, and these they are, would these are great. Had their name? What's that one say? Blacking oil. <laughs> Blacking. Blacking and oil company. Blacking and oil company, but they could have put different products. Oh, yeah, it's all just, and it might have had a paper label at one time on it. <laughs> I like this one. This one is a uh, Rubifoam for your teeth, for the teeth. Must have been a, <laughs> maybe a toothpaste. Maybe, or something to just keep, I, I know a lot of people probably didn't take very good care of their teeth, but they didn't eat the sugar that we do either. Oh, let's look over here. Probably using <laughs> a lot of tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he? Awesome. Yeah, check it out. All right. Pretty sure this is McCoy. Nope, this USA. Yep, this is a McCoy dish. Nice old dishes here. Lots of great stuff. These oil lamps. Different places. 
even from the top of Georgia all the way up to the top of Tennessee, you'll get different fluctuations in prices and things. And the prices of these, this one's going for 15, but of course it's the, it's missing the chimney, it's missing the wick and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, these things, it just depends on if you've got a collector, but when you get up in Georgia, these go for more when you, you know, if you go higher up here in Tennessee, maybe not so much. So this one's selling for 15. So if you need replacement parts or pieces, that's good. And you always look for the blue jars with the zinc lids. This is actually an old ball jar. And you always look for the number 13. This one says two. So 13 was considered unlucky and they always broke the 13s because they thought that that was an unlucky number for the jar. So the survivors are the ones you look for that say 13 on them. So if you ever see one, always flip it over and look on the bottom to see. These, these are a little bit bigger, but uh, most of the time you can find that they have a number on the bottom of a ball jar. And you can see there, and they're really collectible. So keep your eyes open for them. So, yeah, I like this, but yeah. this one got my attention. Yeah, this is I like guy booths. This is a guy booth. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> He's done good. <laughs> now, when I had my store in Knoxville, you could not keep these. I would advertise a lot on Facebook Market, and we would get a wash tub in like this. Now, probably your grandmother or great grandmother had these, but these were like something they used all the time every day. They did laundry in them, they washed things out of the garden in them. I even had one lady come through and said she washed chickens in them. So, I don't know, but they would not stay in the store. They sold like hotcakes. This one's priced at around $200. So this is a really great deal. Even though it does have some rust on the bottom, it does have the rollers and the wheels. And uh, like I said, this is a piece of history. A lot of people now just take them and make planters out of them. So if you want to put flowers in them, the bad thing is you never want to rust out the bottom. That's the, I mean, I guess you could put plastic in it of some kind, but these are super cool to have around. So. I love personally, I love the, the cast iron, big cast iron. So I like this right here. Yes. <laughs> so, so part of my job is uh, as an auctioneer, we go in a lot of places and clean out. Um, we'll go down under the basement, we'll go out in the shed and the attic and stuff like that. And a lot of times you'll find these cast iron kettles. Cast iron is something that all the grandmothers had back in the day. So. I love them. I've got a couple at my house. Once again, people use them as planters, but back in the day, that's what you did your laundry in. That's what you canned in. That's what you cooked in. This stuff is what every grandmother all up and down the road here in Tennessee had. So this is special. So if you ever find them, and this one is in really good shape, um, grab it because this is something you want to hold on to. That is a piece of history right there. And to make that again and sell it, I mean, you can't find those. So that's even got little handles and legs on the bottom to keep it up out of the, out of the fire. Cause you've got to consider if you buy a skillet from the lodge factory up in Pigeon Forge, what you're going to pay for a lodge skillet versus this is an antique and that's 225 and a lodge skillet, they start 50, $75. So that's, that's an awesome deal. So if you ever get a chance to come up here and walk up and down and do this, please do it. It's worth it. It's worth your time. Even if you don't buy anything, it's fun. <laughs> it's just fun to see. There's a crosscut saw. It's got one of the handles missing. $65. It's a great price. A lot of times people will take these and put them like over the mantle. And uh, it is missing the other handle, but you could probably have that remanufactured and uh, put it on that end. I even have a cousin that paints these and paints like mountain scenes from up in Gatlinburg. So, um, and then that is a very old pitchfork, 15 bucks. Check it out. Looks deadly, doesn't it? <laughs> but that would be great if you wanted a decoration like on your porch or something, get you a hay bale and a couple of pumpkins and you got it made. There's old milk uh, dairy jugs there from dairy farms where they would bring milk to you in those and uh, some of these are newer some of these are older these are great prices most of these are fifty dollars and once again they're metal so people have to take good care of them but like i said if you ever find these don't throw them away these are worth money so check it out 50 bucks 60 bucks for this one with the liberty on it so right here 60 and then those are actually larger and they've got the 50 dollar tag this right here is uh 
Model A from uh, old cars, and actually, I don't know if I can pick it up, it's heavy. It's got wooden spokes. So that thing is massively heavy, but that, back in the day, when they went from horse and buggy to, to this, this is wooden spokes, because that's all they could think of, was wooden spokes and a wheel to make the car go. That's from a very old car. These are in very good condition. Most of the time when you find these in a barn, they're ripped all to pieces and the wood is missing. So those are awesome. The pair of them looks like 125 or it might be 125 a piece. I don't have a need for them today, but there you go. <laughs> now some of these are reproduction signs. You have to be careful, keep your eye open. And like I said, you can't research everything on Google here because the internet is spotty um, in some of these places. So kind of know what you're looking for before you show up. Some of these are reproductions, even though they look old, they've been made to look old, like the SO standard sign. Usually you don't find two identical ones alike. So you know that's a reproduction. And some of these smaller ones, now this one, these are those heavy enamel signs. These are great signs to have, especially if you're, you know, wanna put it in your man cave or whatever. But uh, these are reproductions, but they look like the original from back in the day, you know, that was hanging on the side of an old general store or whatever. They are super thick. It's got a thick gauge to it, and it also is enamel coated. So this is a good sign to have, but it's a reproduction, so. Some of these other ones, um, like this one here. Now this is a this is an original one, and you can tell it's faded. And you can look and see always around some of the spots here where the rust is, where they've had it hanging. Now this hung, I'm sure, somewhere on the pole for a very long time. It's a double-sided sign, very heavy. But it's in really good condition. So that's something that you want to keep your eye out for, especially if you're decorating your man cave or if you know somebody who collects signs but uh like i said keep your eye open and you might also run across one or two that might have been damaged now this one's been damaged and uh it is a reproduction even though it looks old this one uh kind of been run over a few times maybe by a truck but like i said maybe you get a discount on some of this some of these people now they love it when you ask them for a, a lower price they like to dicker back and forth with you about um hey i see you got 95 on this will you take 85 and they might say no i'll take 90. so that way you both feel like you've kind of got a deal out of the thing. so have a look at some of these other ones i think they're great signs a lot of these smaller ones now some of these are old and then some of them like i said they are reproductions those uh concave signs though they are reproductions but yeah some of them are older so this is a um, that one looks old so that one is the real deal it's got some kind of plastic yeah. on it you think that's a <laughs> i don't know hang on it had me fooled you can even fool me and i'm an expert this dude has set this outside so long that the back of it looks rusted and this is setting the sun to bleach it out to make it look old but check this out it's still got the plastic on it oh my gosh it fooled me so you gotta really watch even if you know what you're looking for that one right there is a reproduction so check out some of these other ones though they're amazing i love the larger signs the cadillac service sign is amazing He's got $4,800 on that one. I'm thinking that one's real. So look at this other one, the marathon sign, $1,500. The chief paint sign, these are great signs. And like I said, if you have somebody who loves this kind of stuff in their man cave, this is a great spot. And we're pretty close to Christmas, believe it or not. So you gotta be thinking ahead. And that one over there, the cow sign from uh, National Hereford Breeders Association, the heifer. <laughs> for 1200 so we're checking out your signs not, not your signs we thought they were yours $2,800 for the Pepsi Cola cafe sign it's pretty great so the back of his truck's got a Sinclair sign in it and uh, I love the the little bear there so yeah great signs National Harvester bear sign that I was telling you about back there I get that off of him there oh, okay. I've never seen that so, yeah, one. Yeah, I hadn't either. But the International Harvester right there in the middle. That's 900 for that one. Pretty cool sign. And then this one, of course, the Ford Motor Oil. That's my phone keeping for me. Sorry.
little bit of everything. Yeah, you do. I love it. Got some nice signs. Huh? Got some nice signs. We, I make videos for Facebook. I'll give you a card here. Oh, okay. I should have you advertise some of that. I just drove up from Texas. Are you come up from Texas? Last night. Oh, wow. That was a heck of a trip, I bet. No, nah, it's only six to eight hours. Six to eight hours? You come here 16. every... Sixteen. Sixteen? I started to say six to eight. That wasn't that long. No, six to eight. You come up here every year? Yeah. We, I love old signs. That's my thing. Well, let me, I'll sell you a couple. Well, <laughs> yeah, you got some great ones. I love them. I'll make you a deal. I'm still trying to get unloaded. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Did it rain on you any? Have you been here yesterday? No, I just got in late last night okay. about 11 o'clock. I was going to ask because we had some pretty bad storms come through Knoxville yesterday. I drove it through uh, Florence. Yeah, okay. So how much are these a piece? <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, now these from Texas too? Brazil. Brazil, wow. Cool, I love it. I love the colors in this one. Check that out, and it's so soft. That's amazing. And I like the dark ones too. Pretty cool. It's got blue leather on the back. It says right there, inspected made in Brazil. I don't know what that part means. That's what he paid for. <laughs> $3.30. $330. <laughs> <laughs> $350. Yeah. That's that Brazil. Yeah. 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 Yeah.